Hey guys and gals, A here. Welcome to another episode of EDC. Today we are talking about one of my favorite EDC bags. Um, it's one I've had for a, a fairly long time and I, I love it. I use it a lot. I keep rotating back to it. Um, so if you want to know what the bag is and what I've got in it, come on back because here we go. All right, guys and gals. So we are talking the Maxpedition Sitka. So this bag is, um, it's one of my favorites. I've had it for a very long time and I keep coming back to it. I, uh, I rotate through bags a lot when it comes to my EDC bag. Um, I like, I like, uh, I like changing it up and mixing it up. I like rotating what I'm carrying. Um, maybe I wanna add some things and carry more. Maybe I wanna go smaller and carry less. So I'm constantly uh, rotating what bag I'm carrying. Um, and according to that, changing what I'm carrying uh, on, a, on the daily. And so uh, the Sitka is one of my larger bags and allows me to carry um, some of the most items that I can uh, in EDC as far as what my bags allow. Um, and, uh, so this bag, it is a sling bag and it's thrown over and worn just like that over the left shoulder. And because it's a sling bag, you do have the ability to pull it forward and access your gear. And the pockets are laid out in such a way where you can access your gear when you sling it forward like that. So, uh, it does have the one strap and it is, uh, it is, you know, sewn in at the top as well as at the bottom. So this isn't a sling bag that you can switch sides. Um, I know that uh, the Maxpedition Gear Slinger series uh, has the Remora, the smallest, and then the Lunata, and then the Sitka, and then I believe the Malaga. Um, I have all of those except the Malaga. So the Sitka is the largest one I have. Um, and uh, I will probably do a review on both the Remora and the Lunata, but the Lunata is another one of my favorite bags. It is slightly smaller than this. Um, uh, so it carries a little, a little differently, um, but it's not so small that you're losing a ton. Like this can carry a lot more, um, but the Lunata is, is a very good bag as well and carries a lot of good EDC gear. But the Lunata, um, I believe you can switch which side you carry on. This one, you're, you are on one shoulder. But because of that, I mean, it is sewn into the top. It has a lot of padding, the strap does. You have some Molly attachments here, so you can put, you know, a pouch or something there. You have a gear keep or a, a keeper here, so you can clip your keys on or whatever you want. Um, this is the buckle for the crossbody strap, which I never use. And then you've got two more um, Molly straps here, so you can definitely add some things that will be quick access on the front when you're carrying the bag, as well as they have Molly right here. And um, a lot of times when I carry this bag, I will put a pouch here that allows me to carry my multi-tool on the bag itself. But here recently, I've been carrying the Leatherman Surge on my hip, so I do not have it added here. Um, maybe, I, maybe I incorporate a flashlight right there, or if I wanna, if I wanna just leave the empty pouch in case I wanna take the surge off my hip, I have that option. But that's why I don't have a, um, a pouch on there right now is because the surge has been carried on, on person. Now on the side, you have Molly straps all up and down the side. Um, I've added pouches in the past on here. Uh, people will stick fixed blades in here. A lot of options on what you can do. Uh, currently, I just have a uh, Zebra uh, F701 as well as the um, Milwaukee Permanent Marker. Uh, you can get those at Home Depot. And then the other side of the bag has a water bottle pouch. And now it's cinched down, so it kind of, you know, more or less disappears, but you can uncinch it and fully open it. And this will hold my 32 ounce Nalgene. So it will hold a very large water bottle in here. And uh, inside of here, I keep just a plain cotton bandana um, it, uh, helps to absorb the sweat from the bottle when I stick it in there. Um, as well as now I have a bandana. So if I need one, it's just right there in the bottom of that water bottle pocket and it doesn't take up any space. You don't even know it's there, but if I need it, I have it. And, uh, then on the front here, 
we have a Velcro patch. And so I've got my Superman glow in the dark patch on here, but it also has this bungee cord. And so you can stick like one of those like 16 ounce water bottles in here. Um, you can put roll up a rain jacket and stick it in here. Um, it also has a sleeve right behind there. And there's the, uh, the loop, the soft sided Velcro is back here. I've seen a lot of people put like a small fixed blade and you know use the Velcro to adhere the holster in there. So you can just pull your fixed blade out. Um, lots of options with what you can do with this. Um, I just use it for a patch holder. Um, and then down here on the front of the bag, lots of molly as well. Uh, so again, you could add, you know, pouches or organizers up here. I have before. Um, this time when I put the bag, when I put the bag into my rotation, I just put some buttons on here. Got some Nickelodeon ones and Bigfoot. Um, but, you know, nice bag. Uh, that's the outside of it and what you see on the outside. So let's take a look at what I have on the inside. So the bag opens, the pockets open oddly, except that it's a sling bag, so it makes sense. But this side comes down to the middle of the bottom. This side comes down to the middle of the side. So it opens like that. And what that allows you to do is, if I'm opening it like this, I can just open it and access the top. But if I'm slinging it around, I can open the side and access it through here. So it works. Um, I have a, uh, a six foot tape measure, but it is one of the, uh, the stout ones, one of the thick ones. Um, but there is the uh, tape measure in here. And then I also have uh, my Almar Eagle. And this is a, uh, this is a very good knife. It's uh, thin, it's lightweight, um, but it's a very big blade. So it's easy enough to throw in here and leave and forget. Um, but when I need it, I have a really good knife. So that's the Almar uh, Ultralight Eagle. And then uh, I also have in here, I have my Leatherman bit extender as well as the two bit cards. And so the only other thing in this pocket is a uh, moleskin notebook. And that fits in this sleeve back here. This notebook slides right in and it's actually about max capacity. That's about as big of a notebook as you're getting. And then you have three elastic sleeves right here and the uh, bit kit slides right in that sleeve and it leaves me just enough room to put the bit extender next to it. And then I just put the, uh, the knife and the uh, tape measure in the bottom. And so that seals up pretty well right there. And now on this pocket down here, you have a, a little slip pocket. And inside of here, I just have the stuff you're used to seeing by now. Some BC powders, some wet ones, some breath strips, a few more. Got a uh, cold shower. I have a um, Benadryl as well as a uh, uh, mini Bic lighter. And so that's just all small stuff, quick access items to get to. And now this pocket um, does have a pretty cool little option you can do. So your zipper pull here, you have a snap that goes across. But what you can do is you can actually put that snap, I know it's very hard to see because it's black, but you can put that snap through, you can see it's it's right here, through that and snap it down. And now you're not gonna be able to unzip that without unsnapping this. So if you do have, um, you know, you're running through an airport or you got something important in here that you don't wanna be messed with, you do have the ability to kind of cinch that up, a little another layer of security. Now we also have the big pocket um, where this whole thing opens up. And uh, in here, there is a pocket on the front side. So you see that sleeve pocket right here. And uh, inside of here, I have my little change purse as well as a Tide to go. So if, if I need some coins or I get messy, I'm good to go there. And then you have this here. Now this is from, at one point, I had glued like a little organizer on here so I could put pens and stuff, um, but it actually fell off. So didn't work well. Uh, it worked well for a while, but it did come off. But uh, in here I have some nail clippers, uh, a food bar, some of my peanut butter, um, a uh, 
fruit punch drink flavor and then uh some garlic powder i guess in case they give me some bland fries when i'm out and about i can add a little flavor to those so that's kind of like my little food snacky pouch um as well as you know i've got fingernail clippers everywhere and so this this also has a keeper in here i don't have anything on that but you definitely could and so that takes care of the front so let's go into the main compartment so in here I have my little uh, toolkit, which we'll look at that in a second. And then, so you have a, a sleeve pocket here, which I have nothing in. Then you have a second sleeve pocket that's about twice the size of this one. Inside this one, I have like diapers and wipes and toys and a pair of shorts. That's for the little guy um, to keep him uh, taken care of when we're out and about. So that's definitely his pocket. But this one, there's nothing in here. And so because of that, and because of how far this one sticks out, my toolkit can sit right here where that pocket is and it won't slide down into the bottom of the bag because his stuff is actually holding it up. And it's too big to fit in this pocket or else I would do that. But so it actually just sits right on top of that empty pocket and stays pretty well. So that's this side, two sleeve pockets. And then the front side of the bag, you have one, uh, you have a, a, a buckle here that keeps this up because there is a just a sleeve back here and there is Velcro. So you could put a uh, organizer pouch, you could put your holster and put your gun here. Um, I wouldn't recommend that. Train the way you fight, always carry the gun the same way, but you could if you needed to. Um, but uh, I oftentimes will put like if I have papers or something, they'll go right there. And then you can cinch that up to hold whatever you have back. But then you also have this these this mesh pocket and it unzips all the way across, but there's a separation. So it's actually one pocket and then two pockets and it's the same size as this side. So small pocket, big pocket, small pocket, big pocket. In the small pocket here, I have a battery bank with my lightning cable. And then I have a uh, phone, um, like it props up your phone, holds your phone, phone up if you, if you want to watch a video or something while you're out and about. And then on this side, all I have is a, is a mask because of the times we're in. But, so that zips right up and then you can buckle that in and it'll hold it back. And then even with, you know, all these pockets and all these pockets, you still have space in here where you could add whatever you need to. And then let's take a little quick look at my, uh, this is a Maxpedition. Um, this is the Husky, I believe, the EDC Husky. Um, I'll see if I can find a link to the exact model I have, but it's, I believe this is the biggest one they offer. And, uh, inside of it, um, I just have, uh, got some of those Milwaukee, um, permanent markers, got some pliers, got a box cutter, got some WD-40 pen or a WD-40 pen, got a Gerber, got some Loctite. I have some bits. I have a, um, a little tool that has the, uh, the bits to mess with my knives. Got some zip ties in there. Got a notebook, all kinds of stuff. So that is my toolkit and it's not full on purpose. If I'm, if I know I'm going somewhere and I'm going to be doing something in particular, then I have room to add that to this. So if there, if, if there are certain tools I'm going to need based on where I'm going, I have the ability to add those for, you know, that trip. So that all takes place in the front of the bag. And then there's one more little compart, one more zippered area along the back here. And this has Velcro here as well. So this would also be a, a spot for your concealed carry or your organizers or whatever. Um, for me, uh, this is where my iPad goes. When we're traveling or if I want my iPad with me, I pop it in right here and zip it up. And so nothing else is messing with it. But guys, that is my Maxpedition Sitka. Uh, great bag. I absolutely love it. It's a great size. Um, let me know if you have any questions about it or uh, if you have one, what you think of it or whatever the case is, just let me know. Because as always, I will never ask you to like or subscribe. You do you. But I would appreciate it if you did both. So thanks for watching the video. We'll be back next time with uh, something cool, something fun. And I hope you enjoy it and uh, definitely talk to me below. Let's get a conversation going. So have a great one, and remember, EDC, EDC.